How's it going, Regis? Well, we're winning a lot, but I hate it. <laughs> yes, for real, this, this right here is a tier one deck. Check it out on HS Replay. On the new patch, Diamond to Legend, they're calling it Beast Druid, but it's really more of an aggro, even hyper aggro, token druid i mean look at this curve 16 one mana cards only four cards that cost three or more mana and you know what i hate it i hate these all in really fast really aggressive sorts of decks but even i was winning games with this one and there's some data suggesting it's good it's still early data but I think this deck in particular is preying on some of the slower strategies in the meta because you can get down threats fast uh, with all these different ways to build early minions or wide boards in particular and then follow those up with some big buffs from Herald of Nature or Pride's Fury or of course uh, Sow the Soil giving some nice attack buffs as well. And what that means is you get these shockingly big boards in the early to mid game and you just whack people in the face and sometimes that wins Hearthstone games. So. I don't enjoy this style of play. You're gonna see me suffering a fair bit in this video despite winning a lot. But if you wanna get some quick, easy wins, this might be your best option in this new meta. Trog early seems really good against quest hunters. That's perfect. So we keep the Pride Fury for the turn three pop off. Well, I don't know actually, Trog, we're, we're on coin. So Trog is not quite as good against quest hunter. It might still be a little awkward though. So I think we'll keep it. How, how much do we want to keep a follow-up already? Is Pride's Fury the right follow-up? Probably against a deck that does a lot of um, minion damage effectively. Ah, ah, I see you People mulligan for regular Druid and don't expect an aggressive start. That makes sense. Yeah, it tracks. I get it. All right. Certainly, certainly ways to answer this, but maybe it'll do something cool. You never know. They don't have the exact removal card. They top decked it. Yay! Perfect. That's what we love to see. I I have a feeling I'm going to be regularly disappointed by the Crooked Cook here, but I'm going to try it. I looked at the data. It was near the bottom of the list for, for Drawn Win Rate, but it wasn't the worst card in the deck, so... Uh, you guys know I've had a bit of a grudge against people who really like this card. I don't know if it's a grudge, but I've just, <laughs> I have just—I don't like this card very much, and some people do. So we're going to find out how it feels. We're going to see if it feels good or bad. It's definitely not going to go off this turn, but it's at least a 1-4. I, I think the kind of high health total makes more sense in a deck like this, for sure, to build off of, right? You're, you're looking just to get... Um, just to get sticky minions out, I think. Don't know what we want yet, so we're gonna hold here. Uh, Pride's Fury is solid, but it's not really a home run, I would say. Because that 2-5 still just contests pretty dang well. If I could hit a Sow the Soil, I think we'd be pretty happy. Sow the Soil would be nice. Yeah, Herald would be solid too, yeah. They're both... I don't know, we'll see what happens off aquatic form, right? Oh, so the soil just happened anyway, okay. Well, between the two, this looks a lot better. Everything goes to three attack. It might be nice to get another body on board, though, now that they, they took the clean kill on the one three. That makes this feel a little worse to me. Can I get a herald to go with this instead? Yeah, okay. That's nice because we get an extra body, right? Yeah, we'll go ahead and coin this too, I think. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, did we go for the attack on Sow the Soil? It doesn't change our math a lot, but it, it changes it a little because of the cook. The strong flourish is only natural. Okay. It's a good turn. That's a good turn, man. All right. That was a spicy little turn. No coin. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't work like nature studies. <laughs> Sorry, I can see you freaking out. No, it doesn't work like it doesn't work like nature studies. It 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 it's always that spell that's discounted. It costs two less this turn. If that's why you guys are freaking out, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, crooked value number one. Pleasantly surprised. 
Dang, these stag charges are perfect against me. It's annoying. They're really, really good. Oh, this is a nice little follow-up, though. I ever better off buffing this for the trades here. Probably a little better off than with Slither Spear, right? Hey, I got you, friend. Maybe I just go wide again, though? I don't really need to go... Yeah, actually, let's just go wide. Hey, I mean, this buff still makes a lot of sense, but let's just go wide. And then next turn is the, is the buff turn, right? Okay, nice. Some of the soil is really good off that, isn't it? Man, it's really insane. Wide! So, hit, hit. Did I net more crook value, by the way? Oh my god, we're two out of three! It's not bad! That's not bad, guys! I'm pleasantly surprised. Two out of three, he's hard carrying, yes! I think a three attack is a little sad, I'll, I'll say. Ugh. Gross. Ugh! Quest Hunter, like, is this deck actually that good against Quest Hunter? I mean, it's just really good at melting through boards, right? I don't know, man. I feel like this is a little bit of a ripoff. Uh, like, how do you beat Quest Hunter with this deck? Feeling a little bit of a loss here, right? That was my good big reload. Maybe it's just because they got such a good wild seed start, like they could actually contest the board. Maybe if they didn't have all these wild seeds, right, we'd be we'd be a little better off. I don't know. I mean, that's a good hit. I feel like I have to kill that guy. Just crook carries, dude. I don't think it's time to go for Pride's Fury again, right? It seems bad. Maybe I buff the peasant here to get a little bit of card drop potential. I don't know. This feels terrible, though. I don't know if taking five is right, but every minion has quite a bit of value when I'm sitting on this Pride's Fury forever. <sighs> I don't know, dude. Crook did not get value that turn. Sad. It's like a zero legendaries. It's true. It's a very... It doesn't even have an epic. It's all common and rare. That's insane. Five there. All right. Cook is finally dead. Maybe I keep some other minions out of this mess. Maybe not. Seems like. Ugh. Buff did not work too well there, unfortunately. Bunker is bad with Explosive Trap, but I can get around Explosive Trap with, with Pride's Fury now. What other secrets does this run? Is it just Explosive Trap only ever? Oh, it's apparently Ice Trap. <laughs> okay, that's fine too. Thorn Growth is probably my best bet since I'm going to go wide this turn, right? Um... Do I just go for the Pride's Fury now? Is this enough minions to, to get there, or do I want to play two more minions? These go out of range of attacks. These protect against ping. Heal playing explosive. I, I kind of think that's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. We're gonna bait into the explosive for sure. It basically kind of sacrifice one minion for the, the weapon, but... Because he'll hit the 1-3 and then play for explosive, right? You can also ping off a 1-2, though, or the 2-2. Two, two. I don't know, guys. This kind of leaves me... I'm going to have the same number of minions on board, probably, as I would have had otherwise. I guess, obviously, that's not true, because he'd play other stuff instead. He'd kill other things instead, but... Oh, that's still doing like four, even. Yikes. Gross. Face? Okay, this is to get a Tavish down. I don't have lethal here though, right? Because this is only adding two per minion. I'm only gonna have four minions. That's eight plus another five. Eight plus five is not lethal. Living Roots though... Can go face over the top, maybe. I guess we do just absolutely go hard face now, right? There's no... I don't have any time left to, to fiddle around or anything. Maybe try to use Living Roots as a finisher, right? Oh, dang. Dang! Dang! Let's go! <laughs> That's awesome! I didn't even know! Perfect! 
Wow, exact lethal. I'm gonna say I played that perfectly, honestly. I think I actually played the game perfectly. I think we maximized every single turn. I'm really proud. Honorably killed, yeah. Yeah, why did he go face? Yeah, why did he go face? The greed. Yeah, I originally did my math on four minions, but I guess we had five at the end, didn't we? Because he didn't kill one. No, maybe, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Either way, it was nice. All right, I might see some trog action here. I could see this being pretty good. I don't know what to mulligan for, though. Like, is this actually like a decent mulligan? I don't think so. You know what's crazy? This deck's not running composting as a hard run. We only got the composting because of the, 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 the planted evidence. That's kind of insane to me. That's wild to think about. Coin, bro, I dare you. Dare you to coin. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, don't, don't do that. No, 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 stop it, no. No, stop it. <laughs> uh, Cook just doesn't make a lot of sense yet, right? Dude, I already feel like I'm out of stuff. How does this deck actually win long-term? Okay, composting is... Do I have to go composting now? Does this cost two less or... Yeah, it costs two less. I feel like I'm already out of cards, right? I feel like I already have to compost. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it seems a little silly. It's zero mana, so I kind of like the idea of putting on the Slither Spear next turn, but I also... I know this Trog is almost always dying, so... Might be nice to get some immediate reload here. Razor Okay. Hey, I got you, friend. Mm, actually, cook soil's kind of cool to draw a card, right? Time for the finishing touch. It's a really early buff, though, man. Like, I, I don't know. I am not good at these, like, all-in aggro decks. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It makes me really squeamish to just be, like... So, so all in already. So light on resources already. So all in. No good minions yet. That's an insane roll. The cook is dead. The buff punished me. Like, like they have so many things happening still. So many cards. I am just out of steam already. Time for the finishing hey, I got you, friend. I mean, is the cook really the most important unit here, or is the 2-2? Two -two? I think I need more health on the 2-2. Because two -two. the cook doesn't do anything without the 2-2, two -two, right? I just want two 4-health units, I think. This makes the 1-2 the better trade target, but I think we are absolutely done. I think we are just very dead. That's not bad, actually, right now. Ugh. Ah! <sighs> the cook, guys. The cook! He's garbage! I need... I don't even know what I need. I don't know what's good enough here. Trog is a play, but it feels so bad. Do we like Herald or Pride better? We probably like Pride a little better because the health totals are just a little higher. And the curve is a little bit better fit, but we are so all in, and they're still at 18. Oh, this deck stresses me out, man. I don't like it. I can see this being really good against other druids, like just getting under their ramp and just going really hard before they have time to react. But a lot of decks just have reactive tools, you know? Okay, that's totally, totally terrifying, but do I have to kill it? I can, right? It's not, it's not particularly hard to kill. But what are they going to play for six or seven mana? So they could coin a Blackthorn. They get two extra minions off the Blackthorn. If they get a Blackthorn, am I losing anyway? Cur yeah, Kurtris gets two extra dudes. Yeah, I guess Kurtris is a pretty big reason to kill it. I guess I kill it with a Druid of the Reef then, right? So I don't lose any attack damage. That's fine. That's value trades anyway, so that's good. All right, we are literally out of cards. This is our literal last stand. But seven health on these is pretty big. 
Like Kurtz here, for instance, does not deal with this problem very well. He hits a 3-3 three, three and a 4-1, but I'm left with 8 damage, right? Like, well, they'd have 5 extra health, so it'd still be good for them, but... It doesn't solve the problem by any means. Blackthorn instead, maybe? Oh, Z-Log. There's no way Z-Log does enough. They're super dead. <laughs> Dude, how does this deck win? I hate it. Why, why is this? I, I hate playing this and it's actually working somehow. I feel like every game we are just completely, just absolutely gassed. But we just, <laughs> just keep crawling over the finish line. I hate it. Oh, I don't want this to be good. <laughs> Every draw is a good draw. We have no cards. I don't know if I, I abide by that logic, to be honest, but there's something there, maybe. All right, I'm going to go Slither Spear, and then next turn, I'm going to go insane with all of this. And I'm just going to build a monster board, okay? I actually kind of think this might be one of the better openers you could have in this deck, because the evidences can turn into minions, right? Pretty easily. Um... They can turn into, you know, little little mana, two mana plays and stuff. All right. This guy needs to live so I can hit for like 20. It's not literally going to be 20, but six? Maybe? Okay, that's, that's maybe worth a living roots, right? I think that's probably worth a living roots. Let's start here. Aquatic form, actually, we get a lot of stuff we can play off aquatic form. Scale's really good for this deck, but it's only discounted this turn, so I don't think that's right. Um, okay. This is just an OTK. I don't <laughs> it's just an OTK deck. Um, okay, yeah, I like Trog pretty well, yeah. We're still gonna hit this guy for sure, but do I play Trog or Planted Evidence with Coin? I think I play Planted Evidence with Coin, right? I mean, with Trog with Coin. I think I play Trog. We want we want the Trog down sooner rather than later. All right, <laughs> it's an OTK. Just six damage on turn, on turn two. I love it. Okay, we're in, boys. This deck's gonna be so hard to beat, though. I mean, obviously they can just freeze here, of course. Tempo Murlocs might be one of the worst case scenarios. Getting a scary tempo-y Murloc out early could really screw us. Uh, actually, this has a good buff, right? It hits so the soil always. It's not the best buff, though. Planet Evidence plus Beaming might be a little better here to help take a value trade. Let's see what this finds. I don't know if I really want to be trading too much, but... Ooh, Thorn Growth means I kind of maybe don't want to trade. I think we just go here. And then we set up next turn for the big buff. Yeah. I like this. Okay. This is nice. Big buff in hand. I don't know. Murlocs are scary. Flurgle's obviously going to own me if they have Flurgle always. I can't really stop that. But what else do they have? If it's just card draw Murlocs or like Nutanus later, that's not a big concern. They might have just playing a 3-2 because they had a 3-2. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that might have been the angle. They may have had no other plan. Just play the 3-2 as far as they got. Oh. Eh. I don't mind too much, right? The, the value of my minions isn't particularly high. It's the bodies I care mostly about. So that's kind of okay. That dude doesn't seem too bad, right? Dude, how hard do I go here? I don't think too hard. Does this deck have a like damage-based AoE? They don't, right? Hey, I got you, friend. They don't have a damage-based AoE, right? I, I I played this for 20 games or something. I still don't remember what's in it. That's how my brain works. Yeah, Flurgle's about it, right? Yeah. Just wondering if I ever buff one health minions versus the higher value target, right? I don't think so. I don't trade off either, right? We just don't have the luxury to trade in the stack, I don't think. We don't even have that much time to win. We kind of have to win pretty soon, I think, all things considered. So let's just do this. Hope their life is a little awkward. That's not bad. Particularly six health now seems like a great breakpoint, doesn't it? Man. That was really nice, I guess. 
This is eight damage plus another four. I'm getting there, I mean, I'm getting there. Sadly, these are pretty good minions still. But I don't kill him. <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't have that luxury, right? I just can't I can't kill him. I have to hope there's a couple of good trades here. Oh, that's a big buff. Okay. Would have been nice this turn, maybe. Alright. Oh, that's really slow, right? Oh well, yeah, Flurgle, I guess, is still discounted, but there will only be Flurgle plus one other thing. That would answer three minions here though. That could be pretty scary. Flurgle plus a two-drop Murloc. Ah! Oh, that doesn't really change much on, on... There's still three Murlocs available. But still scary. Oh, they're looking for a Flurgle, dude. Oh, they don't have Flurgle somehow, dude. <laughs> Did they hit Flurgle? That wasn't a super quick grab. Is that the Flurgle? No. No Flurgle. Well, there could still be a zero mana Flurgle, I guess. But there would only be one more zero mana Murloc. So there wouldn't be an activator for Flurgle at this stage. Dude, this is not enough. Why not trade this one and evolve this one? It's the same, same mana cost, right? How does this work? I hate it so much. I just won with tiny fins. Are you kidding me? I hate this deck, dude. This is such garbage. I don't know why it's working. Stop it. This should never work. Ah. Oh. Guff is for cowards. Yeah, why why are we playing any any cards that cost more than two mana? <laughs> why bother playing cards that cost mana? I don't. I mean, Jerry Rig's really good, right? But I don't actually think it's something I want early. I mean, it is a pretty nice attack value, but I really want to go wide early if I can. I want to hit like big good minions too. Aquatic form I like because basically on turn two I can pick whatever card I want in the deck almost right. If I don't have a good play, maybe wait till three for a nature. That makes more sense. Let's just try this. I think a 1-3 is okay. Trog might be a little better. Oh, Trog is here for the coin. That's nice. It's really good. That's a good follow-up, too. Protect the Trog against any sort of hero powers or anything. Is this a mirror match, or is this a greedy druid? Probably most likely to be a greedy druid, right? That's what you would normally expect. I don't think buffing Trog's better than just playing Thorn Growths here. Next turn we'll look for... I guess Herald of Nature's not going to be active quite yet, so we'll look for something, but I don't know what it is yet. Okay. It's a decent hero power target, but I don't really want to be hero powering much. Wish I could find another beaming sidekick for another buff. Oh, actually, sidekick plus Mark of the Wild is probably sufficient here. Just buff both of these out of range of that minion start going face, right? Um, oh, you know what I should have done though? I made a mistake here. I should have I should have aquatic formed for a herald of nature before casting the mark of the wild. That's a mistake. There is logic that I might now be able to grab a pride's fury, which arguably could be better, I guess. But um, I don't know. Would have been nice to grab a herald with the nature buff in hand there for it, putting it in hand first, you know. Okay, using the taunts to protect against the two one here, the health buffs that is right. Get some damage through. Pretty good little board. Prime's Fury here would be pretty nuts. Play a ramp card, I don't care. Give me Trogs. Uh, Jerry Rig also can hit a buff here, but let's try to find the good buff first. Yeah, Prime's Fury here is insane. Okay. Now this finds a five damage buff. Next turn we have six and six is 12. So we're still not there on lethal quite yet, huh? Guff, that's some life gain. Yeah, this is... We gotta win this quick, dude. We're running out of time here. We are running out of time. Another Pride Fury here, maybe? What did we have, actually? We had Thorn Growth and Trog. Unlikely to be particularly good, but we might as well try. Uh, Mark of the Wild again is pretty solid, yeah. Make some really big taunts, right? You gotta be scrappy with scraps. It's going to be okay. 
Dude, it's not a bad board, guys. That is not a bad board. I mean, my God. That ain't bad. I mean, scale is not even close to enough. Um, miracle growth is a pretty good start, but there's just no way it's enough. just not even close to enough dude this deck man this is gross i hate it <laughs> i hate it it's not i mean if they had double innervate earthen scales they might be alive but uh, uh to be a pretty specific hand even then i'm not even sure it's enough we had so much damage dude dude did you see that board oh my god I hate it. I kind of want to lose so people have hope when I post the video that this isn't the new thing. What's the highest mulligan on rank card? Uh, let's take a look, actually. It's still low data, but living roots and heralds. But you can see not all this has sufficient data. Living roots makes sense. Getting two minions out for early buffs. Kind of get it. Drawn win rate. Planet evidence is the worst card of the deck. I don't believe that. It seems really good. Okay, um, yeah, we'll go double peasant on on turn one. One of them will probably get hero powered, right? But that's okay. It'll at least get the gears turning, I think. Roots on turn two into rig plus buff on three is actually a pretty good little curve. I kind of like this. This is nice. We haven't even seen a peasant yet, dude. The peasant grows up to be the crooked cook. He turns into a Tuscar. I don't know how. What's the first matchup? There wasn't good data yet for matchups, I don't think. I think peasants are a little worse than trogs, to be honest, but maybe it disrupts their line a little. They don't want a hero power. It's unlikely, but I think a hero power is pretty free for them usually. There's no wild growth disruption yet, right? So. But this one might now have a chance to be very disruptive and stick for a while. That's the goal, anyway. Um. Okay. Yeah, if I can hit a one mana card here to go with Living Roots, I would probably prefer that. Yeah, actually, Druidry is perfect because it also could protect against um, Hero Power. Then again, uh, Mark of the Wild is pretty, pretty strong too. I don't really expect them to Hero Power, right? I expect them to want to Wild Growth. They might want a Hero Power, though. But I want to get the Living Roots down for the for the Jerry Rig and, and Pride's Fury buffs later, right? So I want to go wide here. I want to go wide here to set up for better plays, right? Because this is going to always draw one damage buff. Then we go wide. Then we hope to have some minions stuck over for the Pride's Fury as well. So yeah, I think I think this is definitely the right line. Uh-oh. You think scary here? They didn't go for ramp. So maybe trying to react a little faster. How's it going, Regis? Well, we're winning a lot. But I hate it. <laughs> is this just a hero power now? Surely they got something good to play here. Oh, Plotison's not bad. That's a good way to contest the board for sure. It's a great turn they just had. Wow. It's an excellent uh, counter tempo turn, right? Really nice. Um. Okay, now we have a little bit of a dilemma. Do I go wide again or do I go for Jerry Rig for immediate buff upside? Kind of want to go wide again with a cook, right? And then so hope to have some stuff left over for Pride's Fury. I think a 1-1 trade here is just a little too enticing to pass up. Because it protects... Um, like, both these have to hit the taunt then, and it probably protects a minion. They obviously may have hero powers and things, but that eats mana at least, right? So, um, seems fine. Still plenty of attacks for the cook here to draw, which is nice. Good health total on the cook is nice. Pride's Fury on as many minions as possible here would be very nice. You gotta be scrappy this deck is definitely more of a Denathrius token deck, though. It's not quite as rampy, right? So they're going to have as more ways to interact with us, I'm sure of it. They're going to have ways to to summon things that, that, that kill. And well, yeah, there you can see a Living Roots, right? That's pretty nice. So... Definitely better than other things we've been playing as far as contesting us is concerned. Which might mean we need to go... 
for some trades here. You know what I would love is a Herald of Nature, but actually it's not going to be buffed, right? No, it won't be buffed. I mean, I, I think this has to be the play, but I'm just not really that excited about it. You assume that's a Nourish, right? They're probably going to play for a Nourish here. Hit, 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 hit. I have a couple minions left most of the time. <sighs> Trading. I don't really open up any good, clean trades. I guess I just draw another card and go face. I don't know. Whatever. It's hard to know what their deck is exactly doing, so I don't I don't know the right answers here. Okay, that with Thorn Growth is really nice. Especially if any minions stick. Right, even better. Hopefully they just feel like they have to ramp and take some bad trades here, right? That would be the dream. If they have like an Orca trade up, you know, where they can trade everything in and then Orca, uh, or, or Otters in this case. Oh no! Punished hard, giga punished. Giga punished. Everybody who's got smork faces in chat, you need to get out of here. You baited me. It's funny we're losing to stuff that's like the same as us though. Well, okay, I think this actually cooked us a little right. I mean, we can make more stuff again, but it's just not gonna it's not gonna set up clean trays. They're gonna have like up I need you know, I need one damage, I need a, a swipe, basically, which doesn't exist. There's no good swipe option here. So everything trades up really well. Once we lose board, it's it's kinda gone forever, right? I can try to ignore it, maybe, and just go face again, but th they just get to dictate all the value trades in that case, right? Um, I think I do this at least so that, uh... Like, these trades are still okay for us because everything dies to the two attack on these, right? The three, that was a little clean, so... Let's try to kill the three. I can't believe how good of an, an early curve answer they've had here. It's kind of wild. I'm running out of steam though, right? I don't have any more good board builders for Pride's Fury. I have to like actually stick some minions to the Pride's Fury to feel good. I need another one drop for Slither Spear. I can always grab so Sow the Soil for the two if I need to, right? I mean, two minions left here. If, if these both somehow stick for the Pride's... Oh, this is scale though. We, we lose here. Scales, GG. I don't think I ever get this back now. I mean, we'll try. I'm not gonna give up, but it seems like it's over. Did not play around Herald of Nature especially well, right? <sighs> Trog. I mean, Trog is annoying for people, but... Can I get away without the Pride Series this turn? If I go Trog, Slither Spear, buff... I, I kind of like this a little better, but it's still not good. Right? It's still not good. The trog though gives me a board and a can sometimes, right? Like if they can't answer the trog efficiently. I'm, you know, I'm dreading a second scales, obviously, but maybe they just have like nourish hero power. And then I get I get like a trog in a can is is a Pride's Fury in a can kind of pop off, right? If they have to give me two trogs or something accidentally. Ah. Uh. Second living roots though. Sad. Yeah, that was probably my last good way to get a board. So that might be GG. Certainly don't think this one guy is enough. If it even lives, right? That's a nourish, I bet. Nourish would be good because they couldn't kill the, the guy on board, at least what we see. Hero power trades isn't enough. They might have something else though, we don't know. Okay. Yeah, if that, if that see you can see why if the trog lived here, we'd have four minions into a Pride's Fury. That would actually be pretty insane. This is also pretty insane, to be honest. Um, do I want another dude or do I want more buffs? I don't think I need another dude. I think this is enough. Let's just go for buffs. Yeah, Shuma would definitely help. Okay. This is kind of a dead card now, but we're just saying we're all in on these final two pushes. So 10 mana, Denathrius could already be in hand, right? He's had this card chilling here forever, so that would be a pretty gross Denathrius by now. Miracle Growth into scale would be a huge problem. Miracle Growth by itself is not very big right now, but could get worse. 
do I have enough damage? Oh, I'm one off, aren't I? I only have one spell. I think I can put them to one, right? So I gotta, I gotta send six here, and I only have ten remaining. Oh, if I had top decked a spell. Oh. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this back. Ah. Oh. Not good all of a sudden, right? Ah. Uh. What do I even trade in here, right? Do I just trade this guy in, I guess? Yeah. Better to be wide, right? Better to be wide. He is my biggest threat. I hate putting him low, but it's just not clean. <sighs> I mean, I guess you gotta go to one so the hero power can win if they don't have any healing, but I have to imagine an A3 is something here. Something's gonna kill me, right? Something's. Oh, where were you last turn? Oh, if we drew that, it was lethal. Oh my god, no, dude, no. Are we gonna be one off? Is there any justice in the world? Hopefully we lose, right? There's some justice in the world. Maybe they don't have it, who knows? They could go for a taunt here. Earth and Scales is scary. Denathrius is scary because there's a lot of life gain, right? Um, I should have at least a little board in most scenarios. I mean, I guess I guess the scale of an Ixium might trade, but there's a lot of odd numbers on board right now, which is good. Fives are really awkward, right? They each eat three scales. Or three two attack minions, let's say. So I bet I'd have something left into a scales. Plus that may not give them a lot of life gain potentially. Time waits for no one. So it's just an Atreus to see how much healing you get. Oh, on Nixia. Is that a full clear? But I just went off hero power. Oh, it's not a full clear anyway, dude. Dude, dude, cook. <laughs> no, dude. The cook. The cook wins it. No. Oh, no. What a storyline for the cook. I cannot believe we just won five in a row for Diamond Five with this deck, dude. Every game felt unwinnable.